memory I have of being on a job site with my father, I think I was about 12, and they were hoisting in big pieces of steel into the uh, foundation of the Philip Morris building that's on 42nd Street. I really enjoyed that, I mean, being there with him. It was pretty, pretty important to me. Not too many of us were around at the formation of the association 20 years ago. In fact, I think uh, John and I may be the only two persons who uh, were around uh, when Cagney was born. He uh, is someone who's always commanded a great deal of respect, uh, but during his tenure as uh, chairman of the Building Congress, uh, he became uh, even more influential because he used his uh, position as an industry-wide uh, leader to work on uh, very critical public policy issues uh, concerning the industry in the city of New York. John has been an industry leader for 40 plus years. He was a pioneer for women's issues in the construction industry. John has taught me a real definition of commitment. Uh, no matter how busy John is at his work, he always found time to be actively involved in the BTA and many of the other organizations uh, for the benefit of the entire industry. I started uh, about 45 years ago uh, working for a company by the name of George A. Fuller Company and I was a field engineer. It was a do or die type of position for me. Uh, I needed a job desperately and I had tried most of the construction companies and they said we have one job opening. If you're willing to walk steel, <laughs> uh, you have a job. Uh, I said yeah I would like to join the company. The next day I went to the job and I started to walk steel and I was scared to death. My legs turned to rubber. I was up about uh, eight stories high. And I, I went home that night and dreamt about falling off that building about 500 times. And the next morning I said, if you really like the construction industry, go back. But you're probably going to kill yourself. And I went back, and thank God I did. has been involved in some of the largest construction projects ever undertaken in the United States. He has his mark all over the world by uh, people who he has empowered to grace our industry with the kind of skills and professionalism that took the construction industry out of the muddy boots image into the boardroom. John, during his career, uh, was part of many organizations that was part of construction industry. Uh, just to name a few, the uh, Construction Industry Partnership, which linked the uh, public schools with the apprenticeship program. Uh, when that started, I, John was the first person I called, and he never said no. I think John's left a legacy for today's new leaders in the construction industry in terms of what it's going to take, the kind of commitment, time, dedication, and service uh, to keep this industry strong. There are certain parts of New York where I can stand and see three, four, or five buildings that I physically was involved in the construction of. This is still an industry of big men, of tough men, and John is among the biggest and toughest of them all. On the day of uh, September 11, 2001, John and I had a conversation. He said, we've got to go there. Uh, we've got to uh, uh, deal with that situation. The industry has to show uh, its true colors. My father was one of the first construction people that was called to go down to Ground Zero and assess the damage and assess what could be possibly done to limit more damage to that area. I think I'll probably remember standing with him 
down at 9-11 at ground zero on, on the days after 9-11 and, and, and watching the, the cleanup start. So uh, that's something I'll always remember. Um, he was there 12 to 15 hours a day in, in those early weeks and uh, the, gave everything he had. He was also, I remember well, touched deeply by the suffering and death that was all around us at the time. I mean, it was incredible what was accomplished then. That was one of the most traumatic days of my life, that's for sure. The industry joined together as I've never seen it joined together before in my life. We're honoring you tonight, Dad, uh, for your many years of service to the construction industry that uh, now I am a part of. I can't think of any leader who brings us together around a common agenda as well as John Kevin. He was a go-to guy for the industry. He made our industry very strong. And you've had many, many fine hours over the last 40 years. And uh, we're all grateful for what you've given us. We appreciate it. We appreciate you. Anybody who thinks that uh, old timers in the industry uh, are not progressive in their thinking are wrong. John Cavanaugh is a living proof. And I'd like to follow in his footsteps, but he set the bar pretty high and it's kind of, it's going to be a tough road. I sometimes wondered how he possibly had the time to run his own company and, and, and give so much time to these associations. I'm particularly amazed that he was able to do it and keep a full head of hair. I can't imagine a construction industry without John Cavanaugh. We're asking that you do not ride into the sunset and not to be seen again. And we need your experience, we need your professionalism, we need your friendship. So hang around because we will be calling you.